Hello again, as you know, I am Eli the Computer Guy, and today we're going to be talking about what is going on with Eli the Computer Guy going into 2015. So is it a brand new year? And with a brand new year, I am going to be changing a lot of things up. Now, as you guys may or may not realize, I have been playing around a lot with this whole video educational experience, right? I started this project over five years ago, and during the time, uh, that I've been doing this project. I've played around with a little bit of this and played around with a little bit of that and done a little bit of this and done a little bit of that. You know, originally I started off with my video classes and ran them off of my own streaming servers out of a, out of its own uh, data center, uh, co-location in a data center. From there, I transferred uh, my video classes to YouTube. From YouTube, then I started playing with other things. I started doing live shows again. Started doing this. I started doing that. I've been trying to play around to, to figure figure out what works. Uh, a little over three years ago, I started making enough money uh, to actually pay the bills and earn a professional level salary off of YouTube. And then after that, I started getting sponsors. And past that, I started getting review items sent to me. And past that, I started getting flown out to, to places. Uh, people were actually paying me basically to show up and say hi. Uh, and so as I've been doing this project, the underlying, the underlying goal has always been how do you provide high quality education about the technology field and what gets us paid in technology. That's always been the underlying concept, but then how I actually try to go about doing that has, has changed over time. So, uh, so about this time last year is when I decided to start trying to do just the live show. So I decided I was going to do basically five days a week of the Daily Blob show. And there were some good points to that and there were some bad points to that. So as, uh, as the year went by, I transitioned over to uh, getting rid of the live show, but then doing these episodes. Um, there were some good points of that and some bad points of that. So now we're going into, into 2015 and I have a new plan, a new game plan, which I think you guys will like. Actually, no, a lot of you guys are probably going to complain. And you're going to complain just because everybody on YouTube effing complains no matter what anybody else does. No matter what you do on YouTube, somebody's going to whine, bitch, and moan. But hey, what are you going to do, right? And so going into 2015, I've actually uh, divided out my activities into three different channels. So one of the things that I have found in playing with this whole YouTube universe is people like uh, their channels to basically fit into one mold. They don't like to see a lot of different types of content on one single channel. And so I've decided to do three types of content and those are spread over three different channels. So we have the first channel. So Eli the computer guy, uh, the main channel, 430 some odd thousand subscribers now. So for the main channel, I am actually going back to the classes I am known and loved for. So you know all of those classes I basically stopped doing a year ago? Uh, I am going back and I am going back to doing them. So you know the multi-part classes where I sit down and we do you know introduction to ZFS or introduction to Android or introduction to, to whatever else back, back to the old classes that I was originally known for that I've got like 200 or so up. That is what I am going to be doing on the main channel. All the sponsors are gone. So in case you're wondering like how serious I am about this new transition uh, to the business, uh, I am serious enough to basically get rid of all the old sponsors under the old sponsorship agreements. Um, any question on how serious I am, basically on December 23rd, I emailed all of my sponsors and, and basically, um, yeah, lost about over $60,000 a year in sponsorship revenue from how I was doing things before. So if there's any question, if there's any question about how serious I am, um, I was willing to give up 60 grand in order to do it. Uh, hopefully I'll get it back later. So basically, uh, the, the, the first thing is the main channel, Eli the Computer Guy, is going back to the classes I've known and loved for. The idea is probably one to two classes uh, per week, but one of the nice parts with getting rid of the sponsors uh, for the main channel is I don't have any schedule I have to keep now. So when I had sponsors, uh, one of the issues is I had to keep putting out a stream of content. 
uh, whether or not the content was was the best possible content I could put out. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the, the sponsors want to see content going out, but the quality of the content isn't so as important. Uh, so going forward, the main channel is going to have my old class, or basically classes uh, as the old style, no sponsors, no funding uh, other than my YouTube revenue, and that's what that is going to be. Then what I, I did is actually a couple years ago, I started a, a vlog channel called Eli Computer Guy. Guy Live, so no the in the middle, Eli Computer Guy Live, uh, and I've been playing around with that, and what I found uh, a little while ago is that it makes a very good channel for doing vlogs where I talk about very specific topics. So on the vlog channel, uh, I answer a lot of your guys' questions now. So you guys email me questions, and what I can do is I can answer one question per vlog. So you know, if we go over and we just take a look at that channel, uh, so this is the Eli Computer Guy Live. So Eli Computer Guy Live, and you can see the videos I put up. So question, can I use Cat5 cable for networking and telephone at the same time? Or question, why are people with uh, worse grades and less experience being hired instead of me? Or question, how do I get into IT if I'm physically disabled? So if you look here and you can see the times, these are nice and short. So you know, nine minutes and 35 seconds, seven minutes and 55 seconds, seven minutes and 30 seconds. They're very specific and to the point. And so the thing is, is you can come in here and you can watch the videos you specifically care about. So you can say, you know, I care about this thing with Cat5. I don't care about this thing with, with, with people with less worse grades than me. So the way I kind of look at this Eli Computer Guy Live channel is basically think about this as the daily blob, uh, but you can skip through it. So I can sit down and I can do two or three or ten videos in a day. Um, they all get uploaded and then you can just watch the specific ones you care about. If I'm answering a question and you think it's stupid, you can hit next. Isn't that a great, wonderful thing? So that is the point of Eli Computer Guy Live channel. Again, you guys send me questions or if there's news or things like uh, right now, um, I'm about to fly off to CES. So, uh, so next week is CES. And uh, so I'm going to take my little... Galaxy S4 and all at CES, I'm going to do like a zillion effing blogs uh, or vlogs. So if you want to know what CES is like, you can then watch me as I go through. So like when you go to CES, there's literally thousands upon thousands upon thousands of exhibitors. So I can go to eat, I can go to the exhibitors that are actually interesting, do a vlog at the exhibitor, upload it at the end of the day, and you can follow along. So basically that's the idea of these vlogs is, Lots, lots, lots and lots, <laughs> lots and lots of very short, very specific content. Why that's beneficial for me on a business standpoint is that is the only place now that I'm actually going to be taking sponsors. So sponsors can it can can sponsor individual vlog posts, uh, which means their little ad will show up right in the beginning. So I'll be like this. You know, this vlog is sponsored by Spiceworks, blah, 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 and then go into the vlog. That allows me to grow my business because I can sell more of those little vlog sponsorships. Those vlog sponsorships shouldn't be too annoying to you guys, and it's good all the way around. So you guys get the benefit of the daily blob, uh, but it's in a skippable format, which I can theoretically make more money off of. So I, I that has been going along really well right now, so I'm very happy about that. And so that is where that content is going to be. Then then the next place we're going to do that, that I'm doing is uh, one of the reasons that I am kind of changing the, the format of how I do things in life is because I need to go back on the road. Eli, the computer guy, needs to go back out and have some interesting adventures because that's what I personally like to do in the real world. And so I started this third channel, and this is for you guys to follow if you're interested. In, interested, Basically, adventures in the real world. So uh, so I went off to Seneca Rocks in the Dolly Sods area in West Virginia a couple weeks ago, and I took my little Galaxy S4 and brought you along for the adventure. Uh, in two days, less than 48 hours, um, I'm flying off to Nevada, and before CES, I'm gonna go explore like Death Valley and the Mojave Desert and all that, and so I can drag you along. And so the idea here is one of the things that, that I really try to emphasize to you guys is to be good in technology. The skills you use in technology are actually skills that you gain from other experiences. So why I really like adventure uh, as something to, to build your skill sets to be a technology professional is because it's it's dealing with things like the unknown. Uh, so I'm flying and I'm literally flying into Nevada on Thursday. Thursday, and I have no plan. 
I have no plan. I have a car rental. I have a car rental. And then my hotel for CES starts on Monday. And so between Thursday to Monday night, I have no idea what's going to what's going to happen. I'm literally I'm going to hop in my on the, in the car that I rent in Las Vegas. I'm going to drive to Death Valley. And past that, I have no idea what's going on. And so that's one of the things I could try to show you in this little adventure vlog channel is basically these ideas of dealing with the unexpected, talking to truly strange people, basically trying to free your minds from the confines uh, that, that most of your guys are stuck in right at the moment. And that's what's going on with this channel. So basically, I have these three different channels, and that's where we're going to in the future. Is this what I'm going to be doing a month from now? I want to say probably. I would like to say probably. Um, positively, absolutely, eh, probably. You know, things may change. But I, I think I like this format. Again, one of the things I, th I don't think a lot of you guys realize is that YouTube really hasn't been around very long. And this whole idea of being able to distribute video for basically no cost hasn't been around very long. And so... I don't, really, I don't really think about it a lot, but the reality is that I really am at the bleeding edge of this whole change um, that is happening with education and communication and all that things. I mean, the ability to be able to a live stream uh, video shows uh, out of your house, the ability to, to videotape 1080 quality videos while on the road and be able to upload them all of these things are, are incredibly new. Again, when I started this project, only five years, five years ago is when I started this project. And in order to be able to upload a 90 minute, uh, decent quality videos, I literally had to buy my own servers, install them into a data center, into a co-location facility, and run everything myself. I mean, I owned the license to Flash Media Server, the whole nine yards. And in five years, we have gone, I've gone from having to do that to being able to put everything for free free onto YouTube and get paid from YouTube for doing it to being able to have 1080p or even 4K resolution videos uh, to being able to do live videos. Like all of these changes have been occurring as I have been playing with this whole project and trying to figure out how to uh, present this information to you guys in the best possible way. So that's why things shift because it is, it, it, it is, it is all an experiment. It is trying to play around and trying to see what works. And so I think this will work the best. I think. Again, it may change in two weeks or in two months. Who the hell knows? But I am thinking. So basically, we go back. So the one channel is for video classes. So if you want just video classes, that will be the channel for you. Uh, if you want the vlogs, you want a lot of the the, the, the smaller little, uh, little vlog thingies, there will be the channel for you. And if you want to see me off and do adventure, then we'll have the channel for you. Uh, now, one of the things, too, is, is just so you guys realize, uh, over the past five years, uh, not only only has the, the, the tech world changed and the ability to, to stream video change, but also my place in the world, because, you know, hopefully if you're doing anything for five years or anything for a number of years, uh, your, your prominence and your profession should go up. And so over the past five years, um, basically I have been coming, be, been becoming more and more prominent in the IT world. And so that was, that actually uh, caused me problems uh, over the past year, and hopefully uh, going forward, I'll be able to use some things that you guys haven't seen before. So, like uh, because I had to do the episodes, because I had sponsors, and I had to do uh, so many of the, these episodes in order to keep sponsors, I wasn't able to do some of the trips that was that I was offered. Like literally in November, I was offered to be flown out to Cancun for a week. All I had to do was two 30-minute little presentations on telephone systems. And I had to turn that down because um, I had so many other obligations with making sure I was able to put out the episodes. Uh, I got a call, uh, an offer to go actually go to China for a couple of weeks. So basically be sent out to China 
deal with one of these the decent sized companies over there with all of their systems and I actually had to turn that down again for the episodes so my hope is going forward being able to divide the content in these these different components and basically not having to be beholden to the sponsors um, I'll be able to go out and do some more interesting things and be able to present you guys uh, with more interesting concepts and more of the, this real world stuff going on again I mean imagine being able to get be flown out to China for a few weeks uh, to see what's going on, you know, their major centers and what's going on there. That would be awesome. So that's it. Yeah, I really don't know. Don't know much else to say. There are a lot of other things, again, what I tell you guys in business, uh, you know, that there, there is always the stuff that's in front of the camera and there's always the stuff that's outside the camera. So beyond business reasons, there are personal issues. Um, I thought about going into those and then I decided not to. <laughs> <laughs> I had this whole thing. I was going to tell you guys all this amazing, st all this, uh, this stuff that was going off on behind the scenes. And then I decided, yeah, no, I really don't want to. You, don't, you guys don't really need to know that stuff. So just understand for any of you guys, if you still for some reason don't think this makes sense, um, there are a lot of reasons that I'm doing this. I'm doing this uh, for the business sense. I'm doing this because I think I'll actually be able to make more money at the end of the day. I'm doing this because it'll allow me to expand the opportunities uh, of things I can do. And there are things, again, like I say, on the personal front that will make uh, life a lot better for me. And with all that... That's about that. That's about all I have to say. So, um, in the, in the uh, this description below, I will have links to my other YouTube channels. Subscribe. Don't subscribe. Doesn't really matter to me, as always. Uh, but that is the adventure I'm going to be on. And if you want to see CES, or if you want to see any of this other cool stuff I'm doing, if nothing else, subscribe to my vlog channel. Because it really is. I mean, my, my hope with that vlog channel is I go to CES... And if I see a hundred amazing vendors in a day, I will literally do a hundred vlogs and upload all of those things in a day. And you'll be able to see what's going on. Again, that's with basically with the vlog, what I'm really trying to do is I'm trying to really present the technology world to you as it is. Um, it was one of the things like uh, I took I took Tony, my I hired an assistant for a while last year. Uh, this guy, really good guy, Tony, uh, and I took him to CES last year. And he and Tony is his part of the local startup scene. You know, he he hears about all these people, you know, talking about making money and all these exits and all those kinds of things. But like in the Baltimore more tech scene. There, there's really not that much money running around. I mean, people write $20,000 checks or maybe $100,000 checks, but it's really not, it's really hard to get an idea of, of how much money is in this field. And that was one of the things, like when I took him to CES and he went out and he saw, I mean, when you see all of those exhibitors and when you see all of those attendees and when you start to grasp how much money is on the table like when you can visually see how much money is on the table it, it changes your perspective of how you interact with this field and what your expectations are and so that's one of the things I really want to start uh, what I'm trying to do with the vlog channel is basically shift your viewpoint. You know, I know you're stuck in the server room, or I know you're you're stuck in your college classes, or I know you're stuck in your bedroom just trying to figure out how, how to make them how how to how to get a job and make money. And I want to try to change your perspective so that you see the tech world as I see it. Because again, I think like once you start to get an idea of everything that is actually out there, uh, thing A, things make a lot more sense. And then B, you start to feel a lot more comfortable with what your expectations really should be and, and where you can fit into all this. So there we go. So we're going into 2015. Across your fingers. Let's see what the what the adventure will be. I am very excited. I, if nothing, if nothing else, I am very excited.